If you say that you can't draw, I think you're wrong. Everyone can draw. This video is explaining what I think we've got wrong about drawing. The reason we say this phrase, I can't draw, is probably because we believe drawing equals art. But let's take a look at three different professions. A scientist, a software engineer, and an architect. All three draw diagrams in their professions. Note the use of the word draw. If we turn this back to us, we can safely say that all of us have drawn diagrams at some point in our life. Whether that's drawing your family as a child, visualising a maths problem in class, or coming up with an elaborate escape map from school. Not saying I did that, but that's a pretty cool example. Due to that simple fact alone, none of us can say that we can't draw. But are those diagrams you drew or that map that you made still considered art? Probably not. And this is why I say drawing does not equal art. Drawing instead equals communication. Or in other words, drawing is just a visual language. Drawing is just like using a different language if you go to another country. Therefore, how good your drawing is, is not dependent on how well you've drawn it, but how well your message was communicated. And your drawings definitely don't even have to be drawn like master artists to convey your message. One guy I know who does this extremely well is Lawrence Yeo from the blog More To That. Every single one of his 90 plus blog posts features multiple cute looking drawings which communicate exactly what he needs them to do. One thing about what I do, and I think it's part of More To That's nature, is like I take very serious adult topics, but then I make it playful in a weird way through these, through these drawings. Like these characters I created when I was eight years old, <laughs> right? Like a lot of these characters, they're from when I was like eight to 10. And it's wild to me that these are the characters that all these folks are reading and, and checking out. But when it comes to my drawing skills, they're not like all that great. <laughs> there hasn't been so much evolution in characters and all that, but it's the, it's the sentiment that it creates to see this color, to see this playfulness while I'm talking about things like, hey, we're all gonna die. <laughs> and I think that is also what creates the, uh, the resonance of the blog. So I knew that doing the drawing thing is definitely what would give my, my blog its character and to do it in a way where it fits my own unique style, right? Like I'm not gonna use stick figures because A, I don't, I don't draw stick figures and I don't want to emulate someone else's style. I want to do the, use the characters I drew when I was a little kid. So that's what I went for. And I think as a result, yeah, much of the, um, the reason why people read and check out the blog, I think is because of those characters and those drawings. What I wanted to highlight in particular is that he's not hung up on how good his drawings look because his primary concern is how well his drawings communicate. If someone else can decipher your message through a visual, then you have succeeded in drawing. So the next time you want to say, I can't draw, then you're essentially saying, I can't speak visually, which is definitely not true. I mean, just take a look at the drawings that you made when you were five. If you remember our earlier analogy, you may still be wondering, why do we instinctively consider the architect to be good at drawing, but perhaps not the scientist or the engineer? If you're curious for the answer, you can check out my completely free article that I publish over on my blog, where I talk more about this as well as my thoughts and personal conclusions about my own art journey regarding drawing. I publish every other Monday and I also share creative recommendations like what to read, listen to or watch, and you can subscribe there again completely for free, and the link is in the description. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video, I just wanted to try something different with all the animations. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!